Today I'm going to show you how to take a GPT from OpenAI's GPT store and embed it into your website. Put it into your website, integrate it with your business. Now, here we are in OpenAI's GPT store. There's lots of cool things here, but in many ways it's kind of a walled garden. You can't take them out and embed them into your website, you can't white label them, you can't charge for them, all sorts of things. However, there are some workarounds. So let's take a look at a GPT I made. This one's actually very important for me. It is my financial advisor. I have a history of poor purchasing decisions. So I started to run things by this GPT, which can help me sort of quantify it with what else I could buy. So here's something I just saw. It's this Charizard. It's actually kind of a steal, under $13,000. Um, and this is the sort of thing that normally when I see it, I would just buy it immediately but I've now learned that I want to maybe run these by. So I'll say, I'll ask Seymour, hey, should I buy this? It's only $12,999. So let's see. Um, so he's saying perhaps not, um, but let's, let, me, let me just check. Um, I think I can lowball him to about $11,000. Um, okay, so he kind of thinks maybe I shouldn't do that. So maybe I shouldn't. Um, I was gonna ask about this one, but let's, let's, let's just forget about that for a moment. So the question is, how do we take this and actually embed it into my website now? I'll show you how. So what we're gonna do is click here and we're gonna go into edit GPT. This is gonna let us take the core functionality of this GPT or any GPT and then transfer it to other platforms, which is what we're gonna do. So when we edit it, we go to this tab, we're gonna click configure. We see all sorts of stuff. What we want is the instructions. This is basically the prompt for our GPT. So I'm just gonna highlight it and copy it. Then we're gonna go over to a platform. There's lots of different platforms through this, but today I'm gonna to use Pickaxe which is a really simple no-code platform for building GPTs and agents, uh, adding functionality to them, embedding them into a website, monetizing them, selling them, sharing them, all that stuff. So we're gonna hit create, then click chat. And here we are in a sort of builder that's similar to the GPT builder. We're just gonna dump in our prompt, which is what we copied. We could always add a lot more to it, but we're just gonna roll with what we have today. We can then even go to this model dropdown. We can select what model we want to power it. So we could select uh, GPT-40 Mini or O. We could even uh, put it with Sonnet running it or Mistral. But I'm just going to pick GPT-4 because that's probably what was running in OpenAI. We can then sort of design it a little bit. I'm going to add an intro message. What are you thinking of buying this time? Uh, we can even add icebreakers if we wanted to, just like the OpenAI. But for now, this is probably adequate. If I wanted, we could also add stuff like web browsing and image generation. Not really what I need Seymour to do though. We could let people upload documents if we want them to. We can even upload files. We can connect it to various actions. But today, this is pretty much all I want to do. Just a very simple thing. So we're going to say Seymour um, Financial Advisor. Seymour the Financial Advisor. And we'll just hit continue. We could change the picture if we wanted to. We could grab the picture from um, our original bot if we liked it, upload our own. But now we're going to hit publish. And that's it. We've now recreated this GPT on a new platform. Let's hit deploy. Here we have a couple options. We're going to hit embed. This is going to let us take our GPT and put it into a third-party website, platform, what have you. Here we are at a little page to customize our embed now. There's a lot of cool options here. We can do it as a simple uh, chat window like this. We could do it as a floating action button so that when people click it, it pops up. We could even do it as a just simple chat window like this where we would say, hey, and then it will immediately expand into a chat. But I'm, I just want a simple thing right here. We can then do multiple things like you know, hide the picture, hide the title, show the picture, but no title, all sorts of cool things. 
We could even go here and change all the, the fonts and the sizing. We could even change the colors if we wanted to of every aspect of this. Once we like what we have, we're just gonna go over here and hit copy code. And then we're gonna go to a website of our choice and paste it in. Let's take a quick look at that now. So here we are at Notion, a popular website builder. Embedding iframes or third-party code is a little bit different, but the principles remain the same whether you're doing it on Notion, Webflow, WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, what have you. Usually there's a place where you can uh, add different blocks or pieces of code. For Notion, we're just gonna scroll down until we find something called embed. Pretty simple. Then we're just going to paste in the code that we have copied from our embed customization page. I'm gonna click embed, and there we go. There's our chatbot. Now, generally speaking, wherever you can embed a YouTube video, you can embed a GPT. I hope this has been a helpful tutorial on how to take GPTs from OpenAI's GPT store, recreate them on another platform quickly, and then embed them into your own website in a white labeled way. If you have any questions or any leads on good Pokemon cards, please leave it below in the comments. Thanks.